Now to the fallout from the Colonial Pipeline ransomware attack. While the pipeline is back up and running, the gas shortages caused by a combination of the shutdown and panic buying persists. ABC's Elwin Lopez is at a gas station in Atlanta as the entire state of Georgia remains under a state of emergency. Good morning to you, Elwin. Eva, good morning. Here at this gas station, they are still out of premium and fuel shortages are starting to ease up a bit, but gas is still hard to come by in several parts along the East Coast. Gas Buddy reporting more than 80% of pumps still dry in Washington, D.C. And I want to read the statement from Colonial Pipeline. They just released this this morning, saying more than a dozen states, including North Carolina, Georgia, and D.C., are now receiving products from our pipeline. Over the past few days, experts say the biggest driving force behind the outages panicked to drivers hoarding gas. I've been looking for gas for two days, like late nights and everything, and couldn't find gas anywhere. This was more about that psyche that devolved into panic, driving these outages more so, in my opinion, than the result of the shutdown of the Colonial Pipeline. North Carolina, hard hit by the outages, shifted several school districts on Friday to remote learning due to the shortages. And now Darkside, the group behind the hack, said it was shutting down, but experts say it was likely disrupted by law enforcement. Now Gas Buddy says it could take a week or two for gas stations to get back to normal, but they're hoping that the hunt for gas will be a thing of the past by Memorial Day weekend. Dan? Let's hope so. Elwin Lopez, thank you very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.